Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am on a budgeting kick. I have been filming non-stop for a while during Macy's nap today and I wanted to show you guys how I'm setting up my variable income and spending tracker. So in my budget video I told you guys I changed up my budget a little bit so that I could have my estimated and actual um, income and kind of track it by type but I have a lot of, var not a lot, I have some variable income and I want to kind of track it separately. So that's where it's gonna come in here. The variable income is really just more like YouTube related. And what I do is I normally apply any expenses that I have for my channel first because that's the whole point of it. I like to like use that to do giveaways and stuff like that, get stuff that I need for my channel. And then anything else goes into our budget which is really nice to have that opportunity. So. I want to first track what income is coming in and then I want to have like a spending tracker on the bottom. So I'm going to show you guys how that is working. But really you could use this for if you have variable income, you know, if you work an hourly job, if you have a part-time thing, if you have any type of um, miscellaneous income that doesn't come in super normal. My salary is usually pretty steady but occasionally I get bonuses or maybe I'll get a raise. So having the estimated and actual is nice as well for that. So um, I did a similar setup for my sinking funds, but here I just have a sticker covering up the flag. Got it from here and that's what I used for my budget. And then I got the cute little, I don't even know what that is called. It's kind of like a square, but not really, from the new teacher sticker book. I've been pulling a lot of my Erin Condren stuff lately. So I got it from here, and then that's just from the Petite Budget Planner um, um, sticker sheet. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set it up, and then I'll show you guys what I did and why I did it and all that really fun stuff. All right, so as my camera was charging, I went ahead and set it up, and I'm just going to walk you guys through it. It's very similar to my sinking funds video, um, the kind of the setup. So I'll show you the first tab first. And let me throw out there, I definitely do not have this many sources. I just, you know, made it big just to take up some space. So um, what I wanted to do is have the source, have what I estimate the income will be, what the actual amount is, and then what I'm over and under. Really, the amounts don't matter a ton because we don't rely on this income, but I do like to add an estimated amount into my budget to get an idea of what we may save. And so having it here and then doing a total is nice because then I have an idea of, okay, if we didn't save as much as we thought and all of our other expenses are very um, accurate to what I thought it would be, then maybe this is the source of why we didn't save as much or something like that. Then on the bottom, I have a spending tracker. So like I said, I use a lot of this income for planner case stickers, for hauls, for shipping stuff to you guys, stuff like that. So I want to have a space where I can kind of keep track of that spending. It's also good for tax purposes, but um, just have an idea of where I kind of spent money and all of that. So I have a column for date, amount, store, and description. And now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have put like left a space at the bottom so I can do total, and maybe I'll do that at the top, like total, total incoming, total outgoing, total saved. I might do that um, at the top. But for now, this is what I have. So I hope that you guys are enjoying the setup videos. It's very different from the previous planner just because you have so much more space. So it's really nice to like have space for stuff that you want to track. A lot of this I would do in the back of the planner and you guys really wouldn't see. But um, for now, I am really enjoying showing you guys how I'm setting things up. So anyway, I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. If you have any questions about Erin Condren or how I'm setting things up or anything like that, let me know down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.